Hey guys, my name is Nico and this is my wife Brooke. Hello. And we are sitting inside our workshop, barn, shed. Uh, we have many names for it, a uh, dream project of ours. It is uh, a 28 by 32 foot um, structure. It has 10 foot walls, big cathedral type ceilings. Um, we want it to look like a barn and uh, I think we got it. So. We are sitting in it now, and along the way, we somewhat decided, hey, it'd be a good idea if we film this and maybe throw it on YouTube so someone else can enjoy this. And so, that's what's gonna come. Uh, we're going back in time, if you will, and uh, we have all this stuff on footage, so we gotta dig in and figure this thing out. This is on our property here up in Preston, Connecticut. It sits on about nine acres. Uh, the property was heavily wooded when we bought it, and uh, we cleared a lot of trees and rocks about where we're sitting right now to make this happen. So I hope you enjoy as we bring you along. And I got Paul over here pulling the stumps. So I'm just kind of standing around making sure that everybody is doing what they should be doing and doing it as efficiently as possible. Finally, after months of clearing trees, clearing stumps, moving rocks, it was time to break ground.
after we had the trench excavated, we set the forms, as you can see here, for the footings. We had to go 48 inches below our frost line here in Connecticut. Um, it was a three-part pour. So obviously the footings first, then the foundation walls. Once those were done, we backfilled and poured the slab. Unfortunately, the video portion of this video is going to end here. Again, like we said in the intro, we had, we had the idea to film this process um, after the foundation was poured. So framing going forward, you can expect to have full videos. Um, we did, however, snap a bunch of pictures on our phones, and that's what you're seeing here. Um, so foundation walls in, pulled the form boards off. It was time to backfill at this point. Uh, we filled with gravel. The excavation portion and the concrete pours were the two parts of this project that we decided to have contracted out. Uh, the rest of the build was done by Brooke and I and with the help of family and friends. Also in this picture, you can see the layout of the building. Uh, the wall closest to us will have two garage doors. Then this wall closest to us will have a big barn door and the opposing wall will have another double entry door. The red yard hydrant you're seeing there in the corner was installed inside the shop. The idea was to be able to have water year round as this building will not be climate controlled. Um, that way we don't have to worry about pipes bursting in the winter. Once everything was ready, it was time to pour the slab. Uh, these guys were great. They knocked it out fairly quick. We ended up polishing the slab and here's a photo of them cutting a bunch of relief cuts into the slab. Overall, very impressed and uh, we were excited to get to work.